Hi, Warthog Princess. And as you can see, I am back at home in Arizona. Um, that explains part of the gap in videos, but not all of it. But anyway, here I am today with a Vera Bradley haul and a bit of a story time. So um, you all know that I've been a part of the insiders for a while with the Vera Bradley insiders. It's sort of like a focus group for marketing and whatnot. But anyways, one of the ladies who is in that group has been in it since the beginning with me. Her name is Victoria. She is amazing. Um, but anyway, she lives in North Carolina. And so while I was out in Virginia, I made a special trip the day before I left and drove two and a half hours down to meet up with her. And we went shopping at this place called Salem Creek. It's a lovely boutique store. They have a Pandora inside. They have a Vera Bradley section. They have a lot of stuff. Very cool. Really enjoyed the time getting to know Victoria in person, which was great. So yay. And um, I did buy just a couple things while I was shopping with her. So the first thing I got is just a lanyard. This is Park Stripe, which is Performance Twill. And I do already have the deluxe zip ID in this pattern and fabrication. It's, it's just nice. It's gray and it actually does have stripes. And the way that they oriented it for the lanyard is that the stripes are lined up vertically. So that is actually very smart. They did, they did well with that. Um, it's just a lanyard, um, but it was normally they cost, what, like 20 bucks or something? And I can't read the tiny writing tonight. Yeah. Anyways, it was 50% off. So for 10 bucks, I got a lanyard um, that I don't need, but <laughs> yeah, I couldn't go out empty handed shopping Vera with a Vera friend. Um, but I also got this lovely all in one. This is the new Disney pattern. This is the RFID all in one crossbody in Sensational Mickey Ditzy which if you can't see uh, far away, you can see all the little Mickey heads in the patterns. You have teal and red, and then like, what is that? A pink or peachy color, it's pink. Uh, but anyway, lots of them. And then if you look at the inside, the little flowers, all the little centers are all Mickey heads too. So if you just get a glance at it, you're like, oh, that's really pretty colorful. It's like a sort of a, sort of a gray blue background, um, more blue than gray, but sort of a sl slate blue. Anyway, it's really lovely. From a distance, you're like, oh, that's just lovely, and it's colorful and happy, and then you look, you're like, ah, it's Disney. Look at all the Disney. Uh, but it's great. It has all the colors, yellow, pink, red, purple, white, teal, blue. Yeah, it's, it's great. So very colorful and happy, of course. Um, it does have the full flap front. Inside, it has the Disney Vera Bradley and the cotton reimagined signs, signia, whatever. And then it has this nice big front pocket on it. This is the latest version of the all-in-ones. If you remember previous versions, the front flap only came down about halfway and whatnot. We've seen these lots on my channel, of course, because I have a closet full of them. One for every occasion, for sure. The strap is removable and it does come with a removable wristlet strap as well. In this case, it's a faux leather strap on there. And all the straps have the swivel clips and whatnot. Um, on this, they do still have the metal loops, but it's a, a wallet or a crossbody or a wristlet. You have the back, you have a gusset on one side here, so it opens up nicely. You can see that gusset there. And you can put all your coins or you can put thin things there. You've got two zipper sections. The first is your wallet, basically. Um, I know it looks kind of vivid. The inside is the same as the outside. That's not always the case. But you have a clear ID and then you have three more um, card slots. On the other side, you have four card slots. Like I said, it is RFID. Behind them, you have two vertical slots on each side. So lots of places to stick things. And the pocket itself is very accommodating. I really fill this pocket up. And then behind that, you have your cash drawer where I really do put my cash. It's great. So the cool thing is it also opens the correct way. So for me, I just hold it like this and I open it that way. I said correct. It's not a wrong way, but there's an uncommon way where it zips the opposite, which I dislike very much. Um, but anyways, the second zipper section, if I don't catch any of these strings and whatnot in there, the second zipper section, oh, there's too many strings. Um, the second zipper section is sort of like an accordion. In this case, because it has a coin thing on the outside, it opens up this pocket quite a bit. So you can actually put a lot more in there, including your phone, which I do have in my pocket. 
This is the <laughs> Success Plus. Yes, I'm a dinosaur in a Vera case, but it fits perfectly easily within that area. It zips up fine. It also fits in the front pocket under the flap, of course. In fact, I can fit two of my phones in this slot. It's wide enough, but there you go. So it does also have two card slots right here. And they're a little wide, but they're, they're normal. So there you go. The RFID all-in-one Disney sensational Mickey Ditsy. Yeah. All right. And then I also got something not Vera because like I said, they had a lot of other stuff there. They had some really cute fall and Halloween decorations and whatnot. But they had this little section with ginger snaps. Now, if you're not familiar with ginger snaps, it is in fact snaps, which I found this for the first time about three years ago when I was out in Virginia and I was shopping at one of the boutiques there in town. <laughs> My dog just fell off her bed. I don't know what she's doing over there, but <laughs> sorry, Kelly is silly dog. Um, but so this is a ginger snap. This is a necklace, of course, and it's just a sort of interesting configuration down there kind of looks like one of the clips from the Vera Bradley all-in-one I just did, but it's not a clip. It's just a teardrop shape and a circle. And then down here at the bottom, you have the place where you can snap on things. You could use it plain. It's just a nice silver long necklace, um, but here's how it works. So you get these snaps and Victoria helped me pick out the three snaps I chose. Let's just open them all up real quick because they're pretty. And so they have necklaces. They have long and short and all different configurations. They have earrings that you can change out the snaps and you can mix and match or pair them up. You can make bracelets. I mean, they have all these different things. They're all prepared and they just have places where you can snap on the different snaps. Okay, so I got three snaps. Oy! They're not slippery. I'm just klutzy today. The first one is actually... A holiday one this is a new Christmas one you see that it just snaps right on and this one is um, a holiday bulb so it's beautiful blue and white blingy yeah so for Christmas of course you could I suppose use it for anything that requires an ornament you know whatever or it could be not Christmas because it is just a beautiful blue and white and there you go and they are good snaps I don't know that there's a trick. I cut off my nails though, so I can't get them in there. Well, we might be leaving this snap on. Just kidding. Um, the second one I got is, actually, they're all kind of blue and white. This one is more like a purpley, purple and white. You can't tell, it kind of looks blue in this light, but it's kind of a starburst or a sun shape. Very blingy, and I know it's getting washed out in the light right there. But it is, it is a purple and white. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it better up close. But anyway, so that's the second one. And the third one is, and I didn't show you the back of them. It is just a snap. You can see like the snap there. Fits right in. The, uh, the male part's on the button and the female part is the, the foundation. And this one is just a beautiful blue and white flower. It's like light blue, dark blue. Not so much the white, but there you go. Anyways, looks much better in person, I think. But I, I got that and we had fun picking out. We went through all of the snaps to choose which ones to get. I do have a few other snaps already from my previous necklace that I bought, which I've worn a couple times on here. So we'll see it again. Maybe next time I'll wear it again. Okay. So then we went out to lunch, we had a lovely lunch, and we called another insider, KG. Hi, Karen. And we wished her a happy birthday on video, which was fun. And um, then we went to Dillard's, because you know they have Vera Bradley at her Dillard's. Now, my local Dillard's does not carry any Vera Bradley at all, but hers did, so we went and checked it out. And this little set, it's a three-piece scrunchie set in French Paisley, and it was $5.25. So this has got the uh, sort of the satiny purple, and then it has the interior pattern, regular scrunchie, and then the exterior pattern has that like faux bow on there, which I got this same thing in Bedford Blooms, and I really love it. And I, I 
It's great. So I had to get the purple one, of course. But here's the funny part of this part of the story. So I was walking around the store and I had it on my hand like this because we were, we were just talking and shopping. And so I was basically hands free, but I was walking around with this. And then we, we didn't buy anything. We finished what we were doing. We walked right out of the store. And thankfully she was parked right by the door because I got outside and I had this on my hand and I had not paid for anything. I'm like, oh! So I run back inside real quick and I go straight to the nearest cashier and I'm like, I am so sorry. I walked outside. I just, anyways, we all had a great laugh about it. I, I, I've never done anything like that. Um, I just lost track of it because I, I wasn't holding it. You know, it was just hanging on my hand. <laughs> Don't do that. But anyway, I did pay for it. <laughs> In embarrassment on top of the actual price. But yeah, so that was a really dumb, dumb move. But there you go. So that is it for that but victoria is amazing right i said that already but she's a lawyer and she's really smart and she, she works really hard but she knows everything about vera like she has something from every single pattern that has ever come out that is phenomenal like if you think about how much work that entails and collecting she'll, she'll buy a piece and cut out a little portion of the inside of it or you know, buy a piece just to cut up and have these pieces. So you're wondering probably, why would you buy it and cut it up? Well, she makes these amazing, amazing quilts. And I will make a separate video talking more about that because um, I videoed it a little bit and, and um, she was talking about the different things. Anyways, it was super cool. You're gonna love it. But that'll be another video after I catch up with unpacking and everything. But she also keeps some of the scraps for it, and she is super talented. She quilts all the time, but she's also extremely generous and very creative. And she gave me a gift, which is just warms my heart so much, and I can't stop looking at it and, and feeling so humbled and warm-hearted about it. She's just so sweet. But what this is, it's a Vera tote. Um, it's called the essential tote bag and this is obviously in classic navy so the tote itself is a gift but she actually quilted on here and every single piece of this is a vera bradley pattern and it's all red white and blues so for example you can see you know fireworks paisley and red white blossom yeah anyways lots and lots of patterns and then she did this bead work on here with these glass beads and I'm just so touched and it's so right up my alley. It's so patriotic and it is 100% hand sewn on here. So she sewed every piece of this by herself by hand. So I did bring her some gifts, which um, I had intended to stop at a store and bring her some Vera stuff, but I didn't have any store. The one I went to with her was the closest. So I ended up sending her back some stuff because I found a Vera outlet on the way home. Funny thing. Uh, I'm on the way home to Virginia. Anyway, so she got the rest of her gift, but she had also given me a few other things. So I got this market tote, which is uh, tangerine twist. This is a factory style market tote and some other things. So let me just pull this all out for a second here because she is so thoughtful and she knows that I love Harry Potter. So she had given me some other gifts previously. I have another video about it. If I can find it, I'll put a link right here for you. I know it's out there. Um, but it was another tote that just had a patch on it and some other stuff. But she got me this Harry Potter pen that has Hermione on it. <laughs> it's super cute. And it says Harry Potter and whatever. Um, she got me this Hogwarts Crest puzzle. And it doesn't show what it looks like. And I haven't opened it. Let's see. I mean, it's an actual puzzle. So I'm going to have fun putting that together. I don't know when. Sometime soon. But... I got home, I've been home for several days now, but I haven't been able to sit down and do a video because the weeds, we've been having monsoons here in Arizona, so while I was gone, the weeds grew. I mean, they were like knee high in my backyard, it was crazy. So I've been pulling weeds every day. <laughs> but she gave me this adorable little Vera Bradley note, notepad. I think this is Cheery Blossoms, I think it was. But it has this, it's a little box basically, but then open it up and it's it's little note, note papers. Isn't that cool? I had never seen these before. So I don't know where exactly she got it or how long she's been hanging on to it, but I am super excited to call it mine now. She also got me a zip ID. She also loves purple. 
And I will insert a picture, hopefully on the thumbnail, you might have already seen it, of this sweet, adorable Victoria who just matched all perfectly. And then there was the two of us, we both had our little Vera with our matching masks and our bags. And yeah, it was really easy to find each other when we walked in. Um, but this is in Mural Garden. And it's, it's um, purple. So I don't know if it's more of a lavender perhaps, but um, yeah. So it has, has these neutral tones. To me, this reads actually very Halloween-y. When I first saw it, I thought this was a candy corns over here. Kind of funny, it's not. It's part of a flower that looks like this, but with different different center. But anyway, so that is super lovely and very, very thoughtful. She, I mean, everything she does with every piece of fabric, everything, it's so purposeful and so intelligently thought out and just uh, very meticulous. I just love it. It's a, details, I love details. Um, and then on top of everything, I've got these <laughs> Harry Potter socks, which are super cute. So they have all of the um, house mascots in their colors. So there they are. And then of course it has the sorting hat on there as well. So yay, super fun. Thank you again, Victoria. So awesome. I, I feel like uh, I definitely got the better end of this gifting thing. Um, I did not expect any gifts from her aside from what she'd already sent me for my birthday and stuff last year. Okay, so we got that. But like I said, I found a Vera outlet on the way home and it literally was like 20 minutes up the road. So sadly we didn't meet there and we had fun shopping where we did, it was all good. But I did get some things. So first of all, it was an outlet store, but I found this retail item. This is the Small Vera in Black Performance Twill. I do love totes, I love the Small Veras. I love Performance Twill. I did not have this piece don't think I have any small Vera's in Performance Twill. But the odd thing is that this was at the outlet and it was on the clearance shelf, but unfortunately it was not, it was not clearance priced. So when it rang up, it was 50 plus 30. Still better than $100 that it's retailed for, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so it's just misshelved or whatever, but it, I think someone made a return from the retail side, gave it back to the outlet and it ended up in their store because it was a one item kind of thing. But it has this beautiful metallic looking zipper, really smooth. It has this slip pocket behind it. The back doesn't have any pockets. It does have the straps that go all the way down. There's no trim or anything because it is just a straight color. But it does have that secret pocket on top that perfectly fits the phone very nicely. Inside, you have the usual six slip pockets. So three on each side, just like that. Three on each side. And you can see that lovely interior pattern. It's a floral on a black, but it is a sort of a nylon-y interior as is normal with the performance twill. But a beautiful tote. And the zipper is slightly recessed, but it gives you a little bit extra flap there for space. And in case you're wondering, the essential tote is similarly sized, but slightly different. It's a little bigger, I think. Um, so when you look at the two side by side, it's about two thirds the size of the essential tote. And base wise, it's just a little bit wider across or deeper across. You can see the two there. So slightly different, um, generally similar capacity, but this is a simpler tote and it's a retired style now. So they're much, much harder to find. This one of course is still active. Just a random piece. Okay. Then the other stuff is all factory style stuff. This is something that is not new, new, it's new-ish, but Frosted Floral's been around for just a little while, and that's what this is. This is the Travel Laundry Bag. Now, I have a lot of cinch laundry bags, both retail and outlet versions, but this one is different. And I got it because I love the, the colors, you know, purple, white, and black. It's not really, it's kind of like a, periwinkle and purple or like a like a lilac or lavender and a darker purple anyways I really like it and this is a lightweight nylon it's that like you can see the the grid in the fabric there super super lightweight which it isn't great for travel it folds up really small and so it's very compact it's not like a packable per se but you could put it inside something very small, like a medium cosmetic or a lot of other things, but there you go. So it folds up really small. You could make it smaller really even, but I mean, 
that's pretty cool. So perfect for travels where you put your dirty clothes separate than your clean clothes, whether it's on ship or whatever. Um, it does have a drawstring closure and it has this cinch lock, which is nice, works great. And then it also, it, like it doesn't look very big, right? It's, it's not huge compared to the other ones, but it does have this zipper around the middle, so it's expandable. So ta-da, it expands. You get another, not quite a third. I mean, it's just this mesh area there. So it does give it a greater capacity and lets your stuff breathe a bit, which could be advantageous if you got a bunch of stinky socks in there or something. Anyways, before you go, before you pack it up, let things dry a bit while they're sitting in there together. You never know. Okay, then this is all in no particular order. Now, this is a pattern I have seen before. I have shared when I went to Orlando, I bought a whole bunch of stuff in this pattern. This is Blue Island Medallion. And I do love, I love my blues and teals. So there you go. It has this beautiful flower off center. I kind of liked that it was off center. And the back is actually very similar. Slightly different placement, but similar. So you see different parts of the flower and the medallions. But this is a piece that I had not seen before. I don't know how long it's been out. Like I said, this pattern has been out at least a couple months because I went to Orlando in May. I think it was pretty new in May. It wasn't completely released yet, so it's new-ish. Um, but this is the Grand Travel Cosmetic. So it's kind of reminiscent of the clamshell, which is a smaller version in the same shape. It's you know, big on the bottom and then narrow at the top. So you, I know it keeps collapsing on the fold there. but And then it has this arched top with a zipper across it. So let me get in here so you can see the base of it. It's it's in between the medium and large cosmetic regular. So I think closer to the large, but it's in between the two sizes in my opinion. And, it, and the inside is just plastic lined over factory standard, this uh, solid colored nylon with the Vera Bradley diamonds on it. But yeah, so I thought this is just really great. You can really get into the, the, the way the zipper and everything is, you can get in there. This is just a scent strip that they always have in there. Yeah, so I got that to add to my Blue Eye of the Medallion collection um, that I already have going. But I also got it in this other pattern. Now this is Lighten Up, and this is the Grand Travel Cosmetic in Zen Gray, which is a lot like Heather Gray, but it has like a little hint of, I don't wanna call it blue, but it has a little hint of kind of a bluish hue to it in certain lights. I don't know if you're seeing that, like I'm, my eyes are a little wonky, I've been out in the sun all day, but. But yeah, so the same piece, but in the Lighten Up material. Now Reactive on the retail side, Lighten Up on the factory side. But as per normal, solid color outside has a patterned inside. And this looks to me a lot like, it's not the same, but it does look a lot like the interior of that performance twill, except in different colors. It's not the same pattern, but that's my first thought that comes to mind. Oh, it looks like that, but different. Um, yeah, we can look at it side by side. It's not the same, like I said. You can see it has this medallion thing in it, but but at first glance, I, it, it sort of strikes me as the other. Okay, anyway, um, but it is a pretty interior and it does have a little bit more of the blues and grays and also some orange in there. It's kind of interesting. But I do like Lighten Up. I like Reactive on the, the other side. And Lighten Up on the factory side has these rubber zipper pulls. There you go. Okay. In the same color, I got one of my go-to favorites, the Compact Organizer. And again, it's that sort of triangular shape as well, but it has a front pocket that unzips has a zipper mesh and then it has two mesh pockets here as well as the interior here. Now this is not plastic lined. It can be used for makeup, it can be used for other things. I use it for other things. In fact, right now, I have one of these in my purse as a kind of everything organizer, which you'll see probably in the next video. <laughs> yeah. And over here, there's a loop. There's no um, like key ring or anything on there, but you could put something on there. You could add a wristlet strap and just use this as a wristlet. Honestly, I think it'd make a great wristlet. And I got it to use 
for that, as well as organizer within other bags. And then the last thing I got, well, you get, of course, the free shopping bag that is reusable, so I have a whole stack of those in the back. But I got these little tape measures. <laughs> now, I've had people say, well, why do you need a very tape measure? Because it's not like you're carrying it around in your purse. Well, actually, sometimes I do. But in fact, I'm going to the store to measure something. Is it going to fit in your house or like a shelving or whatever? I do sometimes, not often. But they're cute and they make great gifts. And so I got a few of the patterns I really like. I got the tangerine twist because the black and the bright colors goes with everything. I've got the scattered wildflowers. Wait, is that what it's called? Yeah, scattered wildflowers, which is a navy background with the petite flowers on it. I really like that. And then I got the Haymarket Paisley right here with some of the beautiful, pretty florals. I love these jewel tones, by the way. Um, okay, so how they work, they have a Vera ribbon, which is nice. It's a sort of a fabric wove, woven ribbon. But it pulls out and it stays out. It has both inches and centimeters. And to get it to go back in, there's a little button and you can't see it, but you can feel it right in the middle and it just retracts, like auto retract. So it clicks out, stays out, retract back. So I got one of those for Victoria and a few other things. I got her some stuff. I don't have it because I already sent it to her and she's already received it. But that is all for this haul. Thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing great. Sorry it's been so long since I was traveling and whatnot, but uh, I am back home and I'll be back in Virginia again next year. So there'll be much more to report on the farm front at that time. I do have a lot of footage from the journey and some goofy stuff with Kelly. I will try to put all of that in a video for you as well. So two other videos somewhere in the works. Now, the last thing before I go, I don't know why I'm in this post today a lot. Um, the last thing though is the CVS auction. I am still doing it. I did come back earlier than planned. Um, nothing's wrong. I just elected to come back so I can get some things done. And that was one of the things that was just weighing on my mind every day. I need to get that done. Um, eBay is still a hurdle. So I'm still working on alternate means. I may end up just going eBay way or I may just do it live um, or I may try to put it all on like a spreadsheet or whatever and share that spreadsheet and then do like a silent auction remotely. So those are the three options I'm looking at. If you have an opinion of which one you think would go best, um, then please leave a comment below and let me know. Um, I'll try and put a survey up as well to ask the question um, by itself because I really, I really want to get that done, one, because it's taking up space in my house. <laughs> it's not the most important reason, but that's a little piece of it. Um, but more importantly, for all the people that donated, it is still going to happen. It is still going 100% to charity. Um, so yeah, the first iteration did go out because I did put a few items on eBay, but it was limited, you know, it would only let me do five. So I did sell the first five items and that check has already been sent to Sickly Family Cinema Association. So the first iteration is done. But there are hmm, probably 100 or more items remaining. So yeah, enough babbling about it. It is coming, hopefully coming soon. And um, I also have a trip coming up to go to Orlando next month for two weeks. So I'm going to hit a bunch of the parks. Then I'm going to shop with KG, my Vera buddy. And that will actually be the first time we've met in person. And we're going to rejoin with a couple other Vera Bradley insiders and go shopping. And we have other friends coming. It's all very exciting. Um, all of that assumes that COVID doesn't go out of control and we can still travel and we can still go to the parks. So we shall see. And if we do go, we'll be, of course, very, very careful. So enough about all that. Take care. Bye for now.